Hello everyone, I'm back, this time I'm white, I, I feel like I've had quite a few black games in a row, but King's Gambit, here we go. Um, right, okay, um, sure, I, I feel like these lines are never that good, honestly, um, Let's just go for quick development. I, I don't know any like specific lines for this version um, of the declined, but honestly, I feel like you don't really need to. I, I feel as though you're just better from the from the get go, really. Like th these are just simple moves. Um. Do F, do F takes here? How many how many protectors has he got? He's got one, two, like one, two, three. So we can't push it. So I don't need to take. Could just do this. Um, I'm kind of just thinking, just launch, start launching my pawns at him now. But like this setup here is just cramped. Or do I just go for space? I'll go h3 uh, a3 and then I can go okay I can go uh, b4 now yeah I like b4 here that's fine that's fine now I'll take first because then I think I prefer my bishop on this diagonal once the pawns, um, once the pawns on e five unprotected, um, kind of don't like that for him. I'm gonna hold off. I think on bishop here for now. I need to find a square for this knight. Maybe something like this. The thing is, if I go here, he'll just pin it. Um, I think this put pressure on the on the e pawn this way. Um. Okay, I definitely don't like that for him. Oh, can I just go h3 and then gain the tempo? I don't really see what that move does at all. It doesn't really threat anything because he, he can't even go f5, um, not f5, uh, f5 because of the pin. I think he's just got to go back and now I go queen here. I've gained a tempo. Plus now his bishop can't come to this square. Really, he's he's that bishop's kind of cramped because can't go to any of these squares because here well, it's not doing anything, is it? Um, still, still doesn't have a square for the for the knight. These two are both covered.
Thinking about maybe even G4 here, is that just taking the piss? Is G4 just taking the piss? I quite like G4, you know. Even more squares away from this knight. This queen's not really doing anything. It's kind of misfiring. Only thing I could be worried about is this um, bishop coming here and then like funny business on e4. Okay, that's not that's not the move at all. That's definitely not the move. No way that was the move for him there. Can I just go g5? I'm just going G5, don't even care if it isn't 100%. The line I saw was uh, take, 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 and then here, uh, which picks up the bishop. Yeah, so if take, take, and then take, take... I feel like you won't be expecting this rook sack. Which is still on. Yeah, that's check. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's checkmate. That's force mate. Well, if he takes, it's force mate. So check, check, work here. Yeah. There you go. Lovely little sequence. Lovely little sequence in the King's Gambit there. Will he play on? He's always got this bishop here. Um, <laughs> if he wants to delay another move. Yeah, he, he, to be honest, he, he really should have seen that. But I'm not complaining at all. Yeah. And he resigns. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do that. Um, let's have a quick look. Yeah, it's already... Okay, it still doesn't like... Oh, I guess it's just a version of King's Gambit. It wants me to take here. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, there's some, just some cheap lines, really. Yeah. I mean, King's Gambit's all about cheap lines, isn't it? Oh, okay. <laughs> this would have been good if I'd seen it, to be fair. Yeah, and then if here, then just win the queen. Or if uh, here, win the queen. And then here. I mean... Oh, okay, win the rook. <laughs> that works as well. I'll keep that in mind, definitely. But like I say, just simple chess. Oh, I, it did like uh, a4. I, I was thinking about a4. Often my thinking is, um, like here, I, I don't really want to be moving this bishop here just because then he can take and get the tempo. Um... Which is often an idea in the Queen's Gambit, when as soon as this bishop moves here, then they take on uh, on c4, and so the bishop has to move again. And so I couldn't really move any of my pieces. I could sort of move my queen, maybe. Um, but yeah, I, I think just moving, just grabbing space on the king side, on the queen side, sorry, uh, which is what I ended up doing. Wait, was this... No, I didn't like this. Well, not by much. Yeah, I was pretty sure this was a mistake because now the only players on the king side and all my pieces are just better than his here. 
oh, I've just got so much more space. This bishop, this bishop, even though it didn't end up on this diagonal, this bishop. Um, yeah. Okay, it, it didn't like that. It liked that just to get the queen, the king off the diagonal. Yeah, it didn't like this move too. Not did I. Okay, I wanted an immediate queen out. It thought thought h six was thought h six was an all right move. It didn't like it, but. Just that on instinct, it just didn't seem right because it meant g5 came with tempo. Yeah, I mean, takes definitely not. But if here, I suppose you're still threatening this pawn. But I, I feel like, I feel like these kind of positions are always just easier to play for the attacker. Like these, these dark square weaknesses. Bishop even coming out here, maybe. Oh right, yeah, here, here with the tempo, I suppose. But yeah, in the end, yeah, just a simple, nice. Well, good to see I didn't miss anything. Um, yeah, fairly straightforward win. Uh, simple tactic sequence that I didn't miss. Usually I miss uh, stuff like that, but I mean, I suppose rook, uh, rook sacks like that are very common. I've, I've played so many gains in the king's gambit where um i've missed them before so that that's that shows the importance of going through games um and the impact that it's had so yes yeah, always good to see um yeah thank you very much for watching and goodbye